All right, so um, I'm going to continue on with this next video, um, showing you how I continue to do uh, my second cell. But I'd like to add some ruins that I, I didn't get to in the first video. So I found some stuff that could work here, maybe something like like this. I want to put it, I want to put it back here in the background so it's behind them. Remember, you can do that by um, layering. So I would need to send this back until it fits where it needs to be. So there you go. That kind of looks um, like it fits the, the scene better, right? It's behind them. It's a little bit bigger. There you go. All right. Um, obviously, that's different than what I did here, but and this I like this better, but you know, still works. All right. So for the second scene, it says um, the setting was an office with a table and the artifact sitting on top. All right, so I need to find, I wanna find this same, um, the same background. So I'm gonna search for scenes. I'm gonna search, um, let's see, maybe work. Where is that same scene? I use this one right here. So you drag it into the box, there you go. And then, um, let's see, what did I say for characters? A historian, perhaps in some kind of office, will be looking closely at the same artifact from the previous cell. So um, uh, there's my uh, professor there. I can make her look different, or I can make it a uh, him. But let's see. I'll just do jobs. I want some sort of a prof uh, professional-looking sort of person. Maybe just I use adults. Let's see. I just want to find something that looks kind of professional, and so I used I use this one. Right, um, give her some gray hair, um, skin tone, let's see, that's fine. All right, and I want her to be sitting in the chair looking at the artifact. So I'm gonna change her pose to the sitting pose right there, turn her this way. I want her to be holding the, the scroll, maybe looking down at it. Okay, so update her pose. Make sure she's sitting naturally in the chair. And one, one cool thing you could do is you can copy things by clicking this, this copy symbol. So I'll copy it and I'll move it over here. So she's looking at it, I can even, did I have her reading a scroll? I actually had her reading a scroll, but I can have her doing looking at this, the exact same item, that's okay. So maybe she's, she's examining it like this, All right? Um, and then what else did I add here? I had her say, I wonder who this godlike figure is. He's surrounded by rain. So again, you can, because she's not she's not saying that out loud, that's why I use the, the thinking bubble. So let's say I use a thinking bubble like this one. Say like this one right here. So I wanted to think about, let's see, how did I do this up there? Okay, I wonder who this, I wonder who this god-like figure is. What else is she saying? He's surrounded by rain. Okay. He's surrounded by rain. Obviously, it's not fitting, so I need to change the font size. Maybe 10. There you go. I'd like this to fit a little better, so there you go. And then one detail I added here, if you look closely, um, I mentioned down here that it was at... at um, at the University of California, Berkeley. So I one one iconic thing that uh, you'll see at Berkeley is the is the tower, the bell tower. So what I did was I uploaded a picture of the bell tower online, um, and then the way you can do that is you just upload, find it on your computer, and you know this it's going to depend on your topic, but I thought this was this would be a cool way to customize it and make it a little more accurate. So I want to put this in the window so that it fits and you can see the bell tower. So I need to resize it, but I also want to crop it. And the way you crop it, I want to cut this at a certain point is you click this crop symbol and then I can actually cut this off at a certain point. Let's say I cut it off right there, crop the image. And then I want to make sure this is in the window and it fits perfectly in that window. So she, like she can see outside and see, See the tower. 
all right, that doesn't work, right? Because it's not right, it's not layered, right? So I need to push this back behind the bubble, which I'll do by clicking this. And there you go. You can see the she's probably up on a high story, maybe a fifth or sixth floor, and she can see the bell tower outside her window. But you can see how customized it can make it fit the, the scene a little bit better. But that is the second um, the second cell. All right, thanks.